So after I've put the Italian dressing on there, uh, it also aids in holding the rub to the actual outside of the meat. I'm going to use the Hasty Bake Barbecue Rub as my seasoning. The Hasty Bake Barbecue Rub is a sugar-based barbecue rub with a little bit of spice to it. It's not super spicy. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's probably a 3 or a 4. So if you like really spicy stuff, you can always add some cayenne or some habanero uh, to the Hasty Bake Rub. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and completely cover the meat. I want to get all areas with a thick layer of rub. When you're smoking or barbecuing meat, a lot of the rub is going to fall off in the cooking process. As the moisture is rendered from the food, it'll roll down and take a lot of the seasoning off. As well as putting it on the grill or turning it or moving it on the grill will also knock off a lot of the seasoning. So here I go. Be careful to try to get all the edges. That's my favorite part to eat. The middle of the brisket is good, but the burnt edges I think are the best. This wasn't quite a half full container when I started, so I've used just under a half a container on this side. Typically one of these jars of Hasty Bake Rub uh, will, will season up one uh, one brisket for me. I use quite a bit of rub on there once again uh, because a lot of it's going to fall off during the cooking process. Making sure to get all of my edges. After you have the meat completely covered, you want to pat it down. All right, this side looks satisfactory. Go to the meat side. Both sides receive the same amount of seasoning. Make sure you pull the flap up where the fat vein was and season both sides of there. All right, now we've done our dry rub on the brisket. My typical rule of thumb is to pull the brisket out of the refrigerator or the cooler while it's still cold, do the trimming on it because the fat will be more firm and it'll be easier to cut. After you've trimmed it, I season it and then you can either wrap it up in a trash bag and put it in the refrigerator or in a cooler and let it set overnight or you can leave it out on the counter allowing the meat to begin to come up to temperature and then put it right on the grill. I haven't seen huge gains from letting it set overnight. Um, in fact, what will happen sometimes is it will actually begin to cure the meat and it will give it a much more um, pronounced salt flavor all the way through. So once again, depending on your preference, you can either let it set overnight or you can let it begin to warm up, fire up your Hasty Bake and get it put on. As far as the cooking procedure for the brisket, what you'll want to do is cook it at about 225 for several hours. The time that it takes is dependent on how much charcoal you put in, how big the brisket is, the temperature outside, and whether you're drinking a lot of beers when you're out of cooking on your Hasty Bake. What I prefer to use is a meat thermometer for consistency. I'll smoke it at 225. After the first couple hours, I'll begin checking it to see what the internal temperature of the meat is. When the brisket gets to 160, I'll take it and wrap it up in foil. Then I'll continue cooking it at about 200 to 225 until the internal temperature gets to about 185 or 190. The internal temperature at 185 or 190 will typically yield a sliceable brisket to be sliced up and placed on, on hamburger buns if you want to do a sandwich or served in sliced form. If you want it to fall apart, you want to chop it up and do chop brisket, you can cook it until the internal temperature is 200 to 205 degrees. This will typically yield a fall apart, uh, choppable brisket, but it usually is not able to be sliced. So 185 to 190 for sliced, 200 to 205 for chopped brisket. When you put it on, I typically will put it on with the fat side up so that the fat will roll down over the meat, uh, adding extra beefy flavor. Uh, it's only necessary to turn it if it begins to color more on the top side or the bottom side. Uh, so it's certainly not necessary to turn it, especially on the Hasty Bake. 
When we come back, we'll show you the finished brisket. We seasoned our brisket, we prepped it, we smoked it, and here it is. Here's a hasty bake brisket. We used the hasty bake rub on the outside, smoked it until the internal temperature was 160, then wrapped it in foil until it finished off. Now it's ready to slice up and eat. Good luck with yours, let me know how it goes.